Why did you make the room? I make the room because I wanted people to relate to it. I know it's, it's a probably very vague, but let me emphasize on something here. I use a lot of different colors. I wanted people to have groovy time. Why I make the room? Because it is a deal with relationship. I wanted people to actually relate. I, you know, I'm tired to go to a movie and not have a groovy time. Everybody is so stiff, you know. I wanted people to really say, have fun, play football, do something. For example, you can play football, have fun with it. And that's the idea about the room. Two is better than three, free crowd. And again, keep in mind the room is different cookie cutter from Hollywood. And again, it's nothing happened by accident. You have to plan, et cetera, et cetera. Why did you call it the room? We called the room, I called the room, and the title is the room. It's not our room, but it's the room because it's a special place. Place, you have that place, I have that place. We all have a special place. Could be kitchen, could be basement, could be forest. You decide. You decide the word transpired in the room. You decide what you want to be. You want to be anything you want. You know what the catch-22 is? You have to have respect for yourself. That's why I'm saying to you all that the room, you, 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 you can name it your place and say, you know what, this is my room. That's the room. That's what I want to be. And I encourage all of you to watch the movie in the theater. Have groovy time. Interact. Have fun. New stuff. And that's the idea behind the room. We call the room. We do not call our room. It's a special place. Would you ever create a sequel to The Room? I may create someday a sequel to The Room, but at this time we are working uh, The Room on Broadway. We are working on animation as well, the 3D of The Room. And I'm very proud of our project. And again, I thank you for supporting because it's overwhelming. Uh, all the emails will I receive, thousands of emails, et cetera, et cetera. Do you see the Lisa character as a femme fatale? Well, again, the Lisa character, you know, a lot of people have different take on the Lisa. I encourage all of you to see Cleopatra. Why I'm saying Cleopatra with uh, Elizabeth Taylor is the same like Lisa. Why? Because ladies, that's all for ladies, I love you all, <laughs> all of you. You have the power within yourself. Without girls, without ladies, society cannot exist. But you don't have to use your power over guys. You have the power within yourself. And manipulation does not help anyone. I'll leave it that way. I, again, I encourage you to see the Cleopatra with Elizabeth Taylor. The Golden Gate Bridge is featured a lot in the room. What's the symbolism? The Golden Gate Bridge just symbolizes civilization. As you know, 12, 15 years ago or so, we had a big earthquake in, in Bay Area, and the, actually the Golden Gate Bridge survived because it's a strong foundation. It's like the room. The room have a strong foundation. We'll be surviving hopefully for 20 years from today. To me, Golden Gate represent Golden Gate Bridge represent also the uh, struggle. I don't know if some of you guys know, but this is the fact. Somebody passed away doing construction of the steel. I myself construct a couple buildings. Myself designed with my engineer in Bay Area. I'm very proud of it. And I know what it takes, you know. We are trying to be, uh, you know, we want to have good bridge, like a relationship, go from one, from A to B. Can we meet somebody in the middle? We may. Or we may passing the bridge and we have better relationship. And that's what the room is about. It's symbolism of civilization. Where do you think the room will be 20 years from today? As I said, 20 years from today, we probably go to Mars with the room, and we're trying to improve the quality of the room with, with, with all of you guys, all the support that I have. As you know, online, some of this quirky statement, people are, uh, let's put it this way, some of you do not 
want to give some creation, like a Shakespeare. As you know, I'm fond of Shakespeare because it's something unique. The room also is something unique. You can relate to it. Again, I, I would say to you, you can laugh. There's nothing wrong with it. That's why we're in the entertainment business. See, people don't realize it's not an accident. Like people say, oh, yeah, you know what? This is an accident. No, nothing happened by accident. You have to plan accordingly. I encourage you also to see behind the scene of the room how much effort we did with my line producer, Greg Sestero, for example, my PR person, and other team who, who, who actually did an excellent job. Uh, uh, we did have, we replaced the crew four times. People tried to temper my project, et cetera, et cetera. Again, it's nothing wrong if somebody, for example, quit the job. But if you quit without notice, in my book, it, it's, you know what, it's, it's not right. So I encourage you because I have a lot of people ask the same question about filmmakers, why is this and that. If you ever connect to any project, finish your job. If you commit it, that's the idea. That's what the room represents. It represents the struggling as well. It's like a Golden Gate Bridge. The room is me, you, and we are all together. It's, it, it's, it's not a big mystery about it. That's why I say it, uh, see the room, have fun with it, invite your friends, and hopefully we will see the room also someday on the big screen in Mars 20 years from today. If you could change one thing about the room, what would it be? I will not change so much. As I said before, what I would change probably not use a two format, but again, I'm writing on the book about two format, uh, HD and 35. And as you know, some of you, that the, I'm working on the book, what's the difference between HD and 35? Why I say this, because to me it's very, at the time, it's still today, you do not have a book where say, okay, this is HD, this is 35. Either though today, after 10 years, uh, over 10 years from the room where we shot, still people got confused about, or is this HD or 35 or whatever? 35 is 35, print is the print. And I'm very proud of my project to actually shot on this two format. And I think a book will be soon released. And again, I want to emphasize something else here that the room is based on the 800 pages, what already been written a long, long time ago. Do you feel you accomplished what you set out to do? Yes, I did accomplish what I set out to do. It was a big roller coaster ride to go back and forth. I'm proud to say that I travel worldwide uh, for all the screening. People invite me. The room been also screened in all colleges, major colleges from Oxford to Harvard, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And hopefully, some of you guys, uh, I invite you for the screening of the room when I'll be hosting as well as see the room with your friends and have fun with it. And I would say one more time, you can laugh, you can cry, you can express yourself, but please don't hurt each other. Enjoy the room, have fun, and I love you all. Thank you.